The federal government says its investment in infrastructure will aid the growth of businesses in the country. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatode Fashola, made this point during an inspection of ongoing facilities within the Papa Oshodi Ojota Oroshoki Expressway. TVC News correspondent Theophilus Elama has more. The administration of President Mohamed Buhari has undoubtedly devoted the last seven years to infrastructural development, which comes at a cost. The Minister of Works and Housing is in Lagos to inspect ongoing projects embarked upon by the federal government. The crew took a trip to Ojota Oroshoki, Oshudi, and Apapa Expressway to see the extent of work done on the roads. Infrastructure is the key that unleashes trading and productivity which is so strong on. But without infrastructure, you can't trade and you can't produce. So let's just be clear about that. The Apapa Urushoki Expressway is a major infrastructure asset for import and export business because it connects to the largest and the busiest seaport in the country, the Tinkan Island and the Apapa port. Um, by 2015, uh, people will remember how difficult, how chaotic it was, how painful it was in this state, in this axis, and how the pain translated to other parts of the state. Clearly, without a shred of doubt, although the work is not finished, the difference is clear. There has been very, very measurable and quantifiable progress. The minister explains that infrastructural development will lead to economic growth of the people and ultimately the nation. There are people from different parts of the country who have turned uh, this land and our port area into a very disorganized uh, environment. I have news for them, it is going to stop. We're coming out of them, tongues and hammers. And uh, we're ready for all the arguments that can be wicked up, including ethnic and religious, but this is lawlessness and we must stop it. And it is a return to law and order. And we don't care where you, are, where you come from. Once you obey the law, you are my Nigerian brother and you are my Nigerian sister. If you don't, we will come after you, tongues and hammers. He went further to assure Nigerians of its resolve to complete ongoing projects in record time. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.